Uh, I'm as green as I want to be. Cruising through the late night shifts on a jet ski, blowing out. Fellas, how's it going? How's everybody doing? Today, we're going to talk about Michael Pittman and why he's going to have under a thousand receiving yards in 2023. All right, for all you degenerate gamblers out there, one thing that really concerns me, it bothers me, is Anthony Richardson's over under passing yards this upcoming season on DraftKings is 2,600 yards. Like, that's a very low number. That is not good. That's not what we want to see for our wide receivers on, on the Indianapolis Colts roster. So, it feels like Vegas always knows what they're talking about. They're always right. So, let's say that they actually are right. Let's say DraftKings is correct. Anthony Richardson throws for 2,600 yards. If Michael Pittman had 38 and a half percent of those yards, the 2,600, he would barely touch a thousand yards this year. For context, Justin Jefferson just had an unbelievable season, like one of the all-time GOAT seasons, 1,809 uh, receiving yards this, this past season. That was 39% of Kirk Cousins' 4,547 passing yards this year. Okay, so like put that into context. Think about what I just said. It's crazy. Michael Pittman is heading into season four. He has one year with 950 receiving yards or more. And I don't mean to just rip on Michael Pittman. Like he's a good player. He's just not in a good situation, right? He's great against man, zone, and press. Historically from 2021 and 2022, he's been so good, man. And Michael Pittman is a big body, a big frame. He's 6'4", 223 pounds. He's only 25 years old, kind of crazy. I expect him to have about 900, maybe 850 receiving yards this upcoming season. Again, Michael Pittman is a really good player in a bad situation. And shout out to Alex Caruso for this tweet. Since 2012, 13 out of 26, so 50% of wide receivers finished inside the top 36. Six out of 26, so 23% wide receivers finished inside the top 24. And one out of 26, 4% wide receivers finished inside the top 12. While wide receivers can succeed with rookie quarterbacks, history tells us we should be cautious when drafting these wide receivers. Some of the top wide receivers in 2023 that have rookie quarterbacks starting Adam Thielen, we got Nico Collins, DJ Shark, Robert Woods, Michael Pittman Jr., Alec Pierce, and potentially Traylon Burks. I really hope not. Fellas, I'm going to get out of here. I love y'all. I'll see y'all. Peace.